flying at me. I yeah. think we're going doing an alien. Alien? No, not an alien. But yes, I love drawing aliens. So maybe in the next class, we'll draw an alien only. Okay, but today we are not drawing an alien or any monster. Okay, it's okay. I will not tell you like always. So now somewhere um, at the point, next point here where my pencil is. From here, draw a slight curved line. Which Thank is you. Which hmm, is not longer than this. It should, shouldn't be longer, okay? Is a is it alien? No, it's not alien. And now it's it's a... let's, let's guess. Let's keep drawing and let's keep guessing in our mind. Another line which is bigger than the first one, and it should stop over here. Okay. Now, once this is done, we have to draw a bigger circle, like bigger than what we had drawn first. So, making smaller circles is little easy, right? I think it's a um, kid so I'm sliding. Uh, it's a kid sliding. Okay, let's slowly, let's progress and let's see what is this. It's, it's not a kid sliding. Maybe our imagination, see, it's good that we are imagining. Yeah, like Varun thinks that it's a child who's sliding and uh, we think that it's an alien it's good to keep imagining now we have to make a bigger circle a bigger circle should touch these two points okay. so we are going to keep this in our mind at whatever circle we are drawing it should be like this so that it touches these two points and then you have to make a circle like so let's start let's start okay so let's see from here itself, you can start making a circle where you will touch this point and another point, and then you can carry ahead, carry forward. Create a bigger circle. Now, again, see, I had made a curve on the left side. Now I'm going to close this curve with another curve, which is on the right side. Okay, like this. Now see, if our circles are not coming very proper, that's okay. Slowly with every every drawing. Maybe here. it's a small guy. It's a small guy? Strong. The strong guy. Oh, a strong. Oh, you feel that these are the biceps? Oh. Uh, uh, I mean, um, um, those up. Uh, the um this circle and what this thing I is think now is after this circles. after this much of drawing the with the next step you are going to guess that what is it I'm very sure I say something no. hmm at the, is a is a snail <laughs> yeah I see so many things coming out I love I love when you all is imagine and tell me things I knew it. <laughs> okay, so what is the next step? Next step is coming to the smaller circle on the left side, making it can never be real. Exactly. Yeah. Now tell me what is it? It's a bird. It's a bird. Okay, now because we have just drawn the beak, so we could realize that it's not a snail, it's not a strong boy, it's not an alien. It's a bird, but which bird are we drawing? We are going to draw a very specific bird, okay? So let's keep drawing and you'll guess that which bird is it. All right? Okay. okay. Oh, let's see. It's very easy. Using shapes, we can draw so many things. Using circles, using squares, triangles. Shapes are very good matter to... Wait, but... Them into um, good drawings. Okay, now... But, um, Let's make one eye because okay. Let's make eye over here. If you want oh, to one eye. eye, let's make another smaller circle inside and another smaller circle inside. Okay, this inner circle can be done black. You can shade it with your pencil for now or later. You can do it with your black sketch pen. Okay. Now, what do you think? Which bird is this? Any ideas? I know that. Okay, tell me. I won't. <laughs> okay, let's guess then. Let's draw a little more. Then you will guess what is it. Uh, yeah. Now, 
Is it the pigeon? No, not the pigeon. Now I think you will guess what is it. In the neck we gobble, have gobble, gobble, gobble. This bag kind of thing around the gobble, neck. gobble, 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 gobble. gobble. <laughs> we do What's gobble, that? gobble, gobble? Gobble is like when you eat your food quickly. Then gobble. You gobble, gobble, gobble. <laughs> I think it's daddy anymore. Varun is, Varun is dancing and telling us. Varun is copying the walk of this bird, right? Varun, you're copying how the bird walks. Yeah, because waddle, waddle, waddle. I, I see that circle looks like the biggest body of all in, in that gobble one. Okay. And, and that thing looks like the gobble gobble thing, the okay. one thing it goes okay. on. Okay, next step. Let's see what is next. I hope everyone is done so far till here and you're drawing neatly. So next is that you have to make curves over the head, starting from the beak. Three. One, three. two, three, Way. and four. Starting from the Wait, beak. Wait, it's not a gobble gobble. Not a gobble gobble. And what's what's that, Rarun, Ridhar, Anandita? What is it? Oh, wow. How can something have that? Nandita gave us the name. Nandita, you just said something. What is it? Rooster. Absolutely yes. correct. Which word is that? It's it's rooster. Well, rooster does say gobble, gobble, gobble. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it does. But um, how can roosters have all that here on it? It says cock a doodle do. That's what a rooster says. Right? Papa chicken. Okay. Oh, quack. Also, yeah, um, is the duckies sound. Cluck, cluck, quack, quack. Oh, but we have to uh, undo fins as well. You know, let's draw further. Let's draw the wings. Now, coming back to the bigger Thanks. circle. I hope that we are drawing a big rooster, not a very tiny one. Okay, now Hi. let's come to the wings. Hi, in this big bigger rooster. circle. Right from here, let's draw a curved line like this. Like this, huh? Look at the position, okay? Don't start from anywhere. Don't start here. Don't start here. Look at that. Where is the teacher making the curve from? Look at the gap over here. Where is my face? No, I think it's good. And then from the bottom, make three. Are you ready? Two, and oh, these are the wings. Are the wings. You did a good job. Is it? Is word good? curves. These are called. It's the like the hair of it. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, now uh, almost we are done with this drawing. Now we have to. No, it, that it's not that we have just drawn a roaster and our job is done. After that, we have to draw that. Uh, we have to imagine that what is the backdrop, background. I want all of you, all oh, of you, to think of your own backgrounds. Okay, I'll create a background, but I would suggest you to think of your own backgrounds and then draw it differently than what I am drawing. Okay, so now let's make the tail. Okay, so start from here. Very easy curve, a bigger curve. Follow this. Idhar, yahan dekho, beta. Kahan se start kiya, ma'am ne? Look here, a curve. I'm going very slow so that you can all follow me well. Yes, Varun. Um. So I just have something. Yeah. So those wings. Um, I thought those wings were connected, but what yeah. is all? If right? you want, you can even connect them. That's absolutely okay. 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 You can even draw a little bit different than what your teacher is drawing. That's completely fine. Okay, I'm just going okay. to yeah. now. So then you have to go back from the same point, giving some gap, and then joining back to the circle. Now we are going to repeat this three, four times. The same thing, okay? So giving a, a not at all any gap right from here. Let's draw another curve and go back and join to the circle. Then again, starting from here, going back to the same point. This is how we will create the tail. Okay, let me repeat this. I repeat this. See, it's the first curve. Okay, then we went back. Going back. Some gap and going back to the circle and touch anywhere. From here. Okay. Then from the same point, again, we are given another curve like the first one. And repeating the same thing, going back 
and touching the circle. And again, curve. See, there is gap between each of these feathers that we are drawing for the tail. Okay. They're not very close to each other. So, minimum of four we can draw. This much space we have. The last one is more curved. Let's see, you have to draw it yourself. Last one, okay. can you draw yourself from here? Ridha, try yourself, Peter. It's okay if it is different than uh, than how ma'am is drawing. That, that's okay, that's fine. If your ma'am is a little different, it's okay. But try yourself, Ridha, okay? Right. Curve. And uh, once, uh, if Nandita you are done with the tail? Yes. Okay, Varun is done with the tail? Okay, then Varun is still doing it. Ridha, are you done with the tail? Yeah. Okay, good job. Okay, let's wait. Okay, now Varun is also done. Now let's go to the last part of the rooster. The leg. So that's a very easy way. Just using the stick figure thing. One slanting line here. Another slanting line here. And just drawing the... Uh, these feet. With three more standing lines. Which is on the left. One in like straight. One to the right side. So this is what? It's a very simple picture of a rooster. Now... Really? Right now, this looks so alone on the sheet and is not much attractive also. Why do not we just make a plan? We have a lot of space. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so we have a lot of space. Idea to make to a bigger. plant or bigger. else you can show that she is going towards a river. It is going towards a river to have, have some water or it is looking for the little baby chick. Okay. So you can draw even a little one. Uh, behind or in front of this one. Maybe one more uh, rooster, one more baby rooster you can draw. Right? Yes. Or you yes. can draw another character, any caterpillar or a butterfly or something like that. Whatever you imagine. Now, what do you feel? Uh, I'll do caterpillar. Caterpillar. Okay, that's great. Do you know how to draw a caterpillar with her? Yeah. Okay, draw it then. Very good. I would love to see the caterpillar that you draw. Yes, Varun, what do you want to say? Not to make it. No? Make it down. Caterpillars are always yes. on the ground. Uh, okay. But, okay. What about we draw a baby chick? But what about um, the rooster is going to say hello to the baby chick? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. You can write hello also. That's so good idea. You can even draw a dialogue box over here somewhere. Hello, baby chick. Right. Where are you? Right. Anything can be written here. Okay, what is Nandita going to draw? Bumblebee. Oh, that's great. You can even draw a bumblebee flying above the roaster and they both are friends and they're talking something. Okay, so let me draw a little grass below. If there is a caterpillar, caterpillar is always on the plants, right? Caterpillar can't, or maybe on the tree or on the plant. So you can draw some grass, some bushes. If you want to draw the easy one, you can just show can make some, some curve, curve bushes also. Like the caterpillar. And the caterpillar is maybe somewhere on the ground. Okay, so maybe there, there can be a plant or a leaf on which yeah. your caterpillar is there. Can, All right, or either your caterpillar okay. on the ground, just like this. To draw a caterpillar is so easy. Again, we are using circles. Make a caterpillar like this. How do you like that? The, the summer, join uh, five circles. You make right? the yeah. eyes and the smile face yeah. and the antennas like this. This is really nice. This is like buggies, but you can make a caterpillar. And small, 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 small legs. And they both are going to the river to have water. Isn't it? Right? And there can be some little, little grass over here near the caterpillar somewhere. And if you're drawing the bumblebee, bumblebee can be, it, bumblebee can fly. We all know, right? It, had, it has wings. So it can be over the roost, rooster, above somewhere, or along with the rooster, all right? There can be a flower and the bumblebee is flying around that. So keep your imagination on while you draw. You have to keep imagining that. Keep thinking and drawing. And I'm drawing little bigger bushes also cover the area 
we have to use all the empty space very wisely when we draw. So we are uh, just keeping it like this. And if you wish, you can draw little clouds above or a sun somewhere. Okay, around maybe on the left or the right side. Hello, we can just say hello friend and caterpillar says, um, what is caterpillar saying? Who will tell me that? Ridhar, what is your caterpillar saying to the rooster? What can you say? What do you want your caterpillar to say to cockadoodle? Uh, to a river. You want to go to a river? Go to a river? Okay, maybe you can just draw a river so that inside this bubble, so it's it's easy. But my worm is in the river. river. Let's go to the river. Okay, this river on caterpillar's mind. I'm thirsty. Or even you can just write thirsty. Okay, I'll write that. We are thirsty. Or you can draw a river inside the dialogue box or the thought bubble. Okay. Well, even you can just write water. So one, going word also, one word also reflects uh, the message. Let's have water. Okay. Now this is you can your uh, dialogues can be different. Yeah. Can you erase this? Yeah. Okay. Let's have water. I can do that. Even you can draw water. Okay. Drawing also can be done inside these. Very well drawn, Varun. That's good. Okay, now pick up your black sketch pen. You can even enhance your backdrop a little more by drawing yes. bubbles. Uh, okay. You yeah, actually uh, can be like this. Bubble yeah. here. Smiling. Okay. So whenever you feel that, okay, I have drawn a picture, but there's a lot of empty space. Still. You can draw a little more things. The colors are only here. Once this is done, you have to start with your black sketch pen tracing all around the pictures that you have drawn. Okay, very neatly without putting any extra pressure. It should be neatly done. Ma'am. Sridhar. I don't have a black sketch pen, so I'm using my gray sketch pen. Yeah, that's fine. You can use gray or brown is also fine. Okay, gray or brown, little dark shade. Gray is lighter if you want. You can have brown also if you have it with you. You can have a brown one today. Oh. Very slowly, we are not in any hurry. It should be done very nicely because we can't spoil such a beautiful rooster's drawing, right? Even you can say cock a doodle do. You can write that also. I'm starting coloring, Papa. Okay, the color, you use the wax color, not the sketch. That is for the border, right? For the outline. Do a nice outline. I'll just start. Mm. I just needed to 
Color is body, Papa. Yeah, but we are doing the outline, right? Then you can use a wax color. Where is Varun gone? Varun, I can't see you. Are you there? I'm done with the black sketch pen. Okay, that's good. So maybe Varun is doing. I'm done with the drawing. Okay, fine, beta. So uh, let them trace. You uh, you will continue with your tracing. Okay, you will not start with coloring. I am going to start with the coloring, and you will listen to the instructions. And those who are done with tracing can begin with me. So a few things that you have to keep in mind that whenever you start coloring your drawing, you start from such a point that you don't touch that part again and again with your hand so that your drawing is not spoiled. Your color will not smudge on the paper. Okay, so like from top to bottom, how should we go about coloring? We should start from top and then slowly, slowly, slowly come to bottom or from left to right or from right to the left. So these are the three ways in which we can never do your coloring from top to bottom. That's always wrong way to color. So I'll be starting from um, top to bottom. So let's color the sky first. So color choice, as I always tell you, it should be nice. You should think before you color. Very nice, Ruth. Have you done very good job? I'm almost done. Yeah, very good job. Slowly. I've started filling colors in the one part of my backdrop. The head. On the left. <sighs> this the circle. Yeah. Good job. Slowly, slowly, neatly, nicely. Creating a beautiful drawing. If I start to color. Yeah, now you can color. Just keep the sketch pen, use the colors, wax colors. And see, background coloring is important. You know why? If you can tell me, I would happy to listen from you. Why should we do background colorings? Why? Why do we do background colors? You think to tell me that why do we color the backgrounds? Nandita, hmm? with her. Why should we color the backgrounds, Varun? Oh, we are now trying. Now tell me why should we color the backgrounds? Because we want them to, to look neat. To look nice, colorful, creative, right? So if you yeah. will leave your backgrounds white, it, your drawings will look dull. And you have done uh, such, a, such a hard work. Yeah, before. and if you take a picture with dull of colors, then I will be a bad picture. You yeah, have to yeah. And, and, yes, and there are so many benefits of drawing and coloring. It increases your attention power. It makes your uh, hands more stronger. Your creativity becomes stronger very slowly you have to color so when you are coloring with the, with crayons or any color you will take more time than how than me because i am not using crayons right now i am just using my mouse and the digital color kit on the screen huh so that's why ma'am finishes it finishes very quickly but i know that you will take time so you don't have to rush and catch my speed you will do it very slowly and continuing in the same direction everywhere. Okay. Don't change the directions. Like don't start with sleeping lines. If you are doing uh, standing lines. And see I'm using sleeping lines. Whenever there is a free space to color. You should keep your strokes same.
I'm done with my background, the sky blue color. And uh, rooster is colorful, right? Rooster can be brown, can be green, can be yellow. It has many shades. So you can do a mix of colors in the tail. You can use a different color in the body. So make it colorful. So let's do red over the head in this part. Usually this is red. This and the bag on the neck. This bag kind of shape is red a okay, beak can be orange and body can be yellow the wings and the tail you can do multicolor in them And see, whenever you are coloring near the borders, always you can see, just look at the screen, how I covered my borders first, slowly. Because if this is done slowly, then you can use, uh, you can just be very free while coloring in between because you don't have to go close to the borders. Huh? And also you can keep your uh, strokes same without any worry that it will go outside. So that's the trick that you your color remains inside. It doesn't go outside the borders, the black sketch pen line. And I'll be using green, brown colors for the wings, like multicolors. Green and brown. Okay, and orange. Red. Use mix of all these shades, the tail and for the wings. Slowly, very slowly. See, uh, the, uh, these uh, feathers on the tail that we have drawn, they are very, then they are not having uh, too much of space. No, so we will be doing it very slowly so that it doesn't go out. So how we created this rooster two big circles and we were done okay even you you should redraw these pictures independently also. Done with the tracing okay good you're done with the tracing now Nandita? Yeah. okay now you can begin with your coloring but Slowly around the bushes, coloring the border part first. And then moving smoothly inside in the same direction. Neatness is very important. So let's be neat at the work. Yes, when you write something, then also neatness is very important. When you're working, when you're writing something in your notebooks, when you're drawing, it should be neat and presentable.
even uh, like i have used the same shade of green for the bushes huh? but we can even use more shades of green like if one bush is light green another can be dark green and the grass can be of different shade of green right so these are these are a few things that we should think on our own we should use our own creativity i always tell you that don't entirely copy what your teacher has drawn i give you ideas no but you should have you have to put in your own thoughts aapko khud se bhi sochna hai uh, ki main usme kya add kar sakta hu kya add kar sakti hu aur aapko usko add karna hai okay drawing is all about how we imagine things no right so just the dialog boxes are left now and the bubble bee do it slowly there's no hurry okay, slowly 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 even you can finish it with a little break okay and uh, one thing about the dialog boxes that we make is use a light color why why should we use a light color in the dialog boxes because whatever is written if you will use a dark color that will not be readable then okay nobody will be able to read it koi usse padh hi nahi payega to fir aap kaise us pe kya likha hai they will not know that's why always use a lighter very light maybe yellows light pink any light shade can be used and the wings of the bumblebee to and we are i am done with the coloring all so okay now let me see how have you started coloring your pictures can we start one by one from who will show me first okay ridhar wants to show me first okay ridhar show me no it's not visible beta i hold the paper properly hold yes oh that's wonderful red color and the yellow tail Where is your caterpillar? You were drawing a caterpillar, no? Where, where is it? Oh, it, it's there. Okay. And which part are you coloring now? The bushes. Okay, fine. You continue with your coloring. Very well done, Ritter. So proud of you. Good job. Okay, next, let me ask Nandita. Nandita, show me. Okay, I can see two bumblebees, two butterflies, and the birds. Are those the birds that you have drawn? Yes. Very good. I can see clouds and the sun, some flowers, so different than what I had drawn. Wonderful. Very good. Very nice. Very good, Ridhar and Nandita. Well done. Okay, this is what I want. You know, adding on your own imaginations. So, okay, let's go to Varun. Yes, Varun. Now we'll see what Varun has drawn. Oh, oh, okay. So I'm almost done with this. Wow, your dialogue box is so nice. So it's it's all curved. Hello, oh, hello, hello, and mm, hello. That's a little baby, rooster's baby. <laughs> and where is this rooster standing? Hills. Once again, can you? Oh, no, oh no, he's standing on the wall. That's so nice. Great, good. See, we all had drawn so differently than each other. Every drawing is so beautiful. 
all the drawings are so nice and beautiful okay now you have to finish coloring okay all right and uh, even you can sit for next 10 minutes and finish your coloring part or you can also take a break of uh, of like 5 10 minutes but don't leave them incomplete okay and send me your pictures i'll be waiting for your pictures in my phone all right okay and then we'll meet the next weekend now see you bye 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 ridhar bye anta bye varun bye bye see bye ma'am bye okay bye varun and ridhar ridhar is on mute okay ridhar wave a bye to me Bye. Bye. See you. Thank you. Bye-bye.